Today I'm going to be talking about UPB. I'm going to briefly explain how UPB works, the difference between X10 and UPB, and then the pros and cons. So after this video, you should have a pretty good idea of how it works and whether you want to use this in your automation system or not. So how UPB works is UPB stands for Universal Powerline Bus. It is not a wireless system. It's more like a hardwired system where it utilizes your existing Romex in your house for communication. So more specifically, you have to have a PIM, and that PIM, the PIM stands for Powerline Interface Module, it plugs into an outlet, which then plugs into a controller. That controller sends a signal through the PIM, which has access to the power line to all the devices connected to that power line. So it's a pretty simple idea, concept. Um, it's not wired, it's not wireless, it just utilizes your existing Romex in your house for communication. More specifically, it sends serial commands through the neutral wire. Uh, the big difference between UPB versus X10, and, and the only reason I go over this is so many people associate UPB uh, with X10 because it uses pretty much the same technology except for a few minor adjustments, uh, which, but it is a very important thing to understand. It's much different because X10 was extremely unreliable. Um, a lot of people are familiar with X10 because it came out in the 70s. It was, it was marketed out to the masses. It was very affordable. Um, the problems with X10 is it was extremely unreliable. So that's why UPB came out and it's a much more reliable solution. Uh, the, but the biggest difference is uh, UPB invented a technology called pulse position modulation. And where at X10, when they send signals, it would just go through the frequency of the neutral wire. UPB actually sends timed pulses to those devices, which improves that reliability of communication. Another big difference is the strength of the signal. X10 is uh, four volts, where UPB is 40 volts. So just right there, UPB is a 10 times stronger signal. A big, big problem with X10 is the signal wasn't very strong. It, it couldn't travel very far where having a 40 volts, uh, UPB is made to go, you know, a mile, two miles on that power line. Uh, so just keep that in mind because it's much more stronger. The second thing is, uh, UPB is two-way versus X10 is a one-way system. And what I mean by that, so say I'm using X10 and I want to turn on the living room light, I would send a signal, but I would not get a signal back. I would have no idea if that living room light was on unless I would actually physically see that living room light. What UPB does, it has two-way communication. So I send a signal and then it sends a signal back and says, hey, I'm on, I'm on at 60%. So that's a big difference. But uh, basically UPB, it's, it's like an X10 on steroids. It's a much different technology. It's a much more reliable technology. So now we're going to jump into the uh, pros and cons of UPB. First, we're going to talk about the cons. Uh, the first biggest con is noise. This, this can be a pretty big problem. I ran into it quite a bit. Uh, so many things can create noise. You have no idea what's going to create noise. But more specifically, a big things that do create noise is uh, CFL lighting. If your home is made up of 30% or more of CFL lighting, I would not even consider this technology unless you are prepared to change all your lighting to LED or incandescent. CFL creates a ton of noise on that power line. Uh, pool pumps are another big thing that create noise, but I, I've seen I've seen everything. I've seen TVs. I've seen computers. I've seen so many different things create noise. So you really have no idea. You can eliminate that noise with noise filters. Um, and how you find that noise and what is creating the noise is you plug in a power line interface module to the outlet, run up start, and then you check that noise levels. And then you'll slowly go to the breaker box and turn off those breakers and then you can kind of sing, single out of what is creating the noise and then unplug it and then you can determine what's creating the noise and then be prepared to do a noise filter or change that out. Uh, the next con with UPB is it's a wired system. <clears throat> uh, being a wired system, obviously you can't do you know wireless communication unless you're using like a Z-Wave or Zigbee. 
but you can't do locks or thermostats. You're limited to wherever that power line is. So UPB is awesome technology for lighting um, to change out all your lighting, but you, you can't do anything that's not doesn't have access to that power line. So no battery powered devices or anything like that. Uh, along with the wired system is UPB. Uh, in a house, there's two phases. There's a phase A and there's a phase B. So that can cause problems because it's a, a power line system. So say your PIM is on phase A and you're trying to turn on a switch on phase B. Well, that signal has to go all the way out there to the transformer and who knows where the transformer is. It could be you know a couple houses down, it could be two blocks away. And then it'll go on that transformer and then come back on phase B. So what's very common, which you're probably going to need to do if you do UPB, is install a phase coupler at the breaker box. And what that does is it joins phase A and phase B so it doesn't have to travel all the way out there to the breaker box, I mean to the transformer. And also there's some uh, plug-in phase couplers that you can utilize too. They're a little more expensive. I would recommend the wired phase coupler. The second thing is uh, options. you're really limited on options on there. There's, there's only four manufacturers that produce for UPB. Uh, PCS is actually the one that invented the technology. They license it out, and I think everybody kind of OEMs off that switch with different firmware in that switch. But uh, there's PCS, Simply Automated, Leviton, and Web Mountain. And all the switches really are pretty much the same switch. So you, you, don't, have, you don't have a whole lot of customization as far as hardware. There are different keypads for the different manufacturers. Uh, so PCS actually has a really good looking backlit seven button that I like. Uh, take a look at that, but you're, just, just keep in mind that you're, you're very limited. There's not many manufacturers that produce for UPB. So if you want variety in your switches and you're not happy with the UPB switch, then you're probably gonna look at a different technology. Okay, so then we're gonna talk about the pros. Um, UPB is great for a large, large scale home. I've seen it successful in 20,000 square foot homes, 25,000 square foot homes. Um, so it, it, that signal is so strong and it's made to go a couple miles. It, it is really made for large scale operations and can install in very large homes. But keep in mind, unless you do some different torques, uh, you have to, you're limited to 256 devices, so 256 light switches, unless you add like another controller, which can be pretty complicated. So it is made for a large home, but you are limited to 256 devices. The next thing is uh, customization. Sorry, my handwriting, I say it on all my videos, my handwriting is terrible. Um, this is one of my favorite things with uh, UPB is is so customizable and what I mean by that is you can adjust the fade rate in the light switches uh, so if you want a fade rate of 0.8 seconds or say 10 seconds you can adjust it per light switch you can adjust the LED color um, in, for three different colors with the dimmers um, and so that's really cool uh, you, with the uh, the keypads, the keypads are awesome. You can do like a double click does something, a two click does something. So it's it's very very customizable, which uh, this that's that's definitely one of my favorite things with UPB. Uh, the next thing is speed. Being it traveling over the power line, it is extremely quick. So. If you do set a scene, what, what you do see in a wireless technology, sometimes you see a popcorn effect where everything comes on at sporadic different times. With UPB, it's gonna be a uniform fade up on that scene. And then it's also extremely quick, so it's going to happen very fast. And then being very quick, it also, you can have things blink, where a wireless technology, uh, you can have things blink, but it's very slow. So if your alarm ever goes off, you can have the exterior lights just rapidly blink. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's very fast. Uh, I've been working with UPB for 
a very long time. I, I love, I, I really like the technology. It's really good for lighting, um, but just keep in mind there, you're limited by where your wire is. You're gonna need a phase coupler probably. There is things that create noise, so if you have a pull, you may wanna just go ahead and get a pin first to see if your house is creating noise. Uh, there, it, there can be a decent amount of complications, but if you, a good working UPB system works very well. So that, that's a, just a quick run through of this technology. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section and I'll do my best to get to you. Thank you.